Uh, yes, I can tell you some things in broad terms. Details will come later, perhaps. The distinguished gentlemen you see are being trained to conduct an invasion of a neighboring country which has been suffering under the exploiter's heel for generations. Soon, with their men, they will storm ashore and, and establish a beachhead for freedom. And then, armed with the best of modern weapons, they will be met by our supporters from the interior. And they will make their way, fight their way to the capital, take over the radio station, and announce to the populace their liberation. Perhaps you will be among them. You've used the word perhaps, sir, several times. Why? Because <laughs> it depends. On what? It depends whether you are able to convince us that your political orientation is complete enough for you to join us. Well, I tell you flat out, I believe in what you're doing. Let me go on. When the world press tells the world who the leaders of the invasion are, then it will become evident to the world that with such men, such famous, admired, and distinguished figures uh, espousing our cause, then of course it will be evident that our cause indeed must be just. Indeed, sir, it must. Uh, Scotty and I both think so. We've just said it. Yes, you have. You have paid lip service to it in a restaurant. And you have caused a, a fight. But uh, additional proof is required. Hey, Sean, what are you, what are you doing here? What, why is, what are you doing to him? That man is a traitor. Well, he can't be. He's been straight with us all along. Not a traitor intentionally, but the effect is the same. He refused to obey orders to remain undercover. He was seen in public places. You saw him. He interfered with instructions for your removal. He's a danger to the cause. However, he serves one important purpose now. The final test of your sincerity. I want you... you... to kill him. You're kidding. He's not kidding. You want me to kill a man that's bound and gagged and helpless? And a traitor. Kill him. Oh, hold it. Let's out. You are on trial here. You are ordered to commit a military act. If you refuse, it will prove to us that you are not capable of joining our cause. I need not tell you what such a conclusion would lead to. Yeah, some of the old-fashioned stuff like uh, human dignity. Uh, that doesn't enter into your plans anymore, huh? Stop talking and kill him. What? Man's a traitor to everything we believe in, everything that's important. He doesn't deserve to live. Kill him. It's a man's life you're talking about, Jack. The cause is freedom. The cause is liberation, man. We've talked about this over and over, but we've never had a chance to do anything about it. Now, I'm telling you now, kill him! You don't want to do it? I will. Give me. No, no. That's all right. Let him do it. I'm telling you now, man, this man's life against hundreds that are going on the beachheads means nothing. Now, kill him. Come on, believe in me. I said kill him! Well,
or the trigger killer. You have proven yourself, both of you. A bulletproof vest. I'm glad. It takes a special kind of man. Yes, we need you, both of you. Now, now you will have your chance. Go with Sean and he will give you your uniform and your equipment. Gracias. Congratulations. Now you are one of us. You really would have done it, wouldn't you? Follow me, gentlemen. <laughs> How'd you figure the vest? I felt it when I went across his chest. Gee, I wonder what would have happened if I'd have shot him between the eyes. Well, what usually happens when you shoot people between the eyes? They die. That's right. 